actually, in reality, you have to go into Etsy, you have to go in reports and you have to export like four different reports to get all of the different inflows and outflows of money from different reports. And then you can synchronize those different reports with your product cost report. If you've ever ventured into the Etsy download report section in your shop, you have the option to download multiple different reports that give you really cryptic understanding about what each row actually is calculating. Actually, you kind of have to reverse engineer it yourself to really try to figure out what each column is representing. And I know that from experience. But yeah, basically, if this is how you wanted to go about calculating your true metrics for your shop, you're going to have to download a bunch of these reports to figure out things like all the unique product types that you've sold, the quantity sold, the exact profit breakdown of all those unique sales, things like your marketing fees, seller fees, processing fees, refunds, credits, adjustments, all of those exist in these reports somewhere, but it's really, really difficult to pull it out and extrapolate it out and make it something meaningful for your store. And then all of the while exporting all these reports is only solving a portion of this equation. For all of your products that you're selling, you actually have a unique product cost associated to each sale of your items. So once you get these reports, you then need to do a VLOOKUP or some sort of Excel sheet magic that basically identifies all the products that you sold with their identified costs. I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a spreadsheet nightmare and really something only your bookkeeper is probably doing, but maybe on a yearly basis, or maybe they are giving you a profit and loss statement, but you're paying a lot of money and you're only getting it once a month or maybe once a year. When you start a business for the first time, you're wearing a lot of hats. You are your customer service, you are product development, you are research and listing optimization, your marketing, you are all of the things, and you only have so many hours in the day. So it's important for you to invest your time wisely to reap the biggest benefit for that time or money invested. And while this in itself is a huge pain that's going to take up a lot of time or worse, paying somebody else a lot of money to do it for you. So the solution to this is why don't we just track it automatically? We are Profit Tree. We are the first ever real-time Etsy profit tracking solution for Etsy merchants. Now profit tracking is as simple as connecting your Etsy shop to your Profit Tree account. After you have synced all of your Etsy shop data, you can go into your product cost tab and upload all of your product costs that you have in your store. Or better yet, if you sell on Printify or Printful with one click integrations, we can immediately sync all of your product cost information from your POD production partner and we can immediately start tracking what your true profit is. In the profit tree dashboard, there is a plethora of important storytelling metrics about your storefront. While we get a holistic visual of how your store is on an upward or declining trend, the versatility of the profit tree dashboard is meant to holistically give you an understanding about the trajectory that your shop is on. This keeps the relationship with your business that much more honest and allows you to not overlook truthful metrics. It kind of forces you to not lie to yourself in a sense about what trajectory your shop and your business is on. Lying to yourself was kind of harsh. I would just say it avoids you from keeping a blind eye to what could or what could not be happening in your business. We understand at Profit Tree that your business is growing, evolving, and changing over time. That is just the very nature of business. So we also have the capability for you to edit your COGS history or update your existing product costs for the future. So at any point in time, if your cost of goods sold increases or decreases, we can make sure we account properly for all the influx or hopefully decrease of costs in your business. Better yet, if you're somebody like me that likes to split test everything and say you have one unique product, but you're selling that one unique product type in multiple of listings, we also have the capability to do a product synchronization where we can identify that one unique product type is sold in many different Etsy listings across your storefront. And so now we can synchronize and aggregate all of that data that's on many different listings into one product report. And so while you're in your Etsy listings tab, you might have your top 10 best-selling listings, but in reality, the most profitable product for you is number 11, but you didn't even know it because you can't see that inside of just your Etsy listing stats. So like I already mentioned, in the Etsy stats, you can clearly see what products are generating you the most revenue, but the clear KPI on winning products is actual profit. Which ones are making you the most profit for a given period of time? And those are the true KPIs that you want to allow to guide you on your next best time spent investing 
investing in a product or a new product launch, but it doesn't end here. Just to point out some really cool metrics that we're showcasing. If we go to your advertising bucket here, you can see that we're showing things like ad spend, which is the total spend of offsite and onsite Etsy ads, things like ROAS and other things like your average holistic breakeven ROAS for your store. If you click on ROAS, you can see over time how your return on ad spend is performing. If your ROAS has a downward error for that time period, say in the last year, this can indicate that your marketing is becoming more expensive, which is usually a result of your listings not being competitive and converting less customers when they click on your listing. Or it means that you're not optimizing your ad spend properly and you're probably wasting money on listings that are not generating you a good return. Over time, what you want to see with ROAS is that it's going up, which is a clear sign that you're optimizing your ad spend and it is increasing hopefully over time. On the contrary, like I said, if your ROAS is increasing over time, this means that the efforts that you're putting into your listings and the marketing and your imagery and your value propositions for your products are probably working and that you're optimizing your ads profitably because it's costing you less money to see a return on your ad spend, thus making your ROAS increase. Moreover, you have another metric on your dashboard called your break even ROAS. This is the average break even ROAS your shop is hitting holistically for your store. This is showing you based off of your product costs on average, what your break even point is with your ad spend. So if I give you $1 and you give me back $2, that's a 2X return on ad spend, but maybe 2X return on ad spend isn't profitable for you, or maybe it is. Well, actually you don't even need to know that because we're calculating for you. You don't need to do any of the hard calculating because that's what we're here for. So in this example, you can see that the break even ROAS is 1.25. So that means when you're analyzing your Etsy ads in general, your average break even ROAS in this column is 1.25. So anything under 1.25 is not breaking even or profitable. Anything over 1.25 is profitable on the ad level. And while on your dashboard, break even ROAS is showing you a holistic view of all of your break even ROAS as a collective average. When you go into your listing reports, we actually calculate your break-even ROAS on a specific listing. So of all the variation options you have with all of their associated costs, this is the ROAS that you would need to hit on that listing in your Etsy ads in order to make money, lose money, or break even. And in this short video, this is me just sharing a, just a few of our features. And like I mentioned, we tend to keep a blind eye to these things. And when they're not constantly being reiterated, again, it kind of prevents us, not prevents us, but allows us to forget a lot easier <laughs> on the important metrics that should really be guiding us in our business. Profit Tree is so much in its infancy and the amount of features that we have coming out for 2024 and beyond in our backlog is really, really endless. This was a huge pain point for me as an Etsy seller. And so the creating of this product with my team has all come from just really wanting to help Etsy entrepreneurs on a high level to achieve a successful scalable, trackable business. And what I've found is that most people don't have that. There's a lot of guesstimating. There's a lot of turning a blind eye, all of those things. And while you can get away with operating a business like that for a while, in the long term, on a high level, it does not serve you. And I know that from experience. And at some point, it catches up to you if you're really trying to grow a scalable, real brand in business. If you guys would like to try out Profit Tree, make sure you get on the wait list as we will will be announcing our beta pricing and a trial. So if you would like to get in on those intro offers, make sure you go and click the link in the description. And if you're watching this video weeks after we already went to market, this offer may not be available. So just keep that in mind. Our official launch date is around the middle of April. So make sure you get on that wait list so you get grandfathered in. Overall guys, thank you so much for staying till the end. Make sure you subscribe to the Profit Tree channel. This is gonna be a value back channel where we're gonna be building community, giving free information, thousands of hours of free information. So you're not going to want to miss it. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.